This video is the only video you will ever need in order to learn how to buy and sell NFTs. And you know what? I'm even going to teach you how you can create your own NFT and sell it, hopefully make some money out of it. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Elan HM and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can buy and sell your NFTs. I'm going to go over all the details from creating your own wallet on MetaMask, from initializing your OpenSea wallet, which is the secondary marketplace where you can sell your NFTs and where you can also create your NFTs. Now, I know I've been talking recently a lot about NFTs. I've been going into details on how to get whitelists and how to get rich and make money with NFTs, but I've never actually taught you guys how you can set up your wallet, how you can buy and how you can list items for sale. So this is exactly what this video is going to be about. Now, and I'm not going to go over the details of what's an NFT and what's the value behind an NFT and why should you buy it versus right click saving it and just having it saved on your computer basically. So I'm not going to go over these details. If you want me to cover those in a different video, I can definitely do that. Just let me know. But however, in this video, this is just going to be purely on how you can buy, sell and even list. And that way you can hopefully start your journey by making profits because Guys, a lot of money can be made in this space and without you learning how to set up your wallet and how to fund your wallet and how to buy or what to buy, you're not going to be able to make money with it. Let's be real. So let's start with the first step and that is setting up your MetaMask wallet. So let's say I'm you and you have never set up a MetaMask wallet. You're going to go to metamask.io. Make sure you type that down because if you put it on Google, you might click some malicious links and who knows what happens. Once you do that, this web page is going to open. What you're going to do is click download now and then install MetaMask for Chrome click on that. So once you click install, I'm using Brave because I already have everything set up on my Google Chrome and I'm using a fresh browser so I could show you guys how to set it up. So you click on add to Brave and you click add extension. Once it's done, it shows you MetaMask has been added to Brave and the way you can access it is you click here, click on MetaMask and there it is. So it says, welcome to MetaMask, connecting you to Ethereum and the decentralized web. We're happy to see you. Click get started. Now this web page is going to come up. It's going to ask you if you're new to MetaMask. Obviously, if you're new, so you're just going to say yes. Let's get set up. You're going to click create wallet. Now, this is going to show you some safety information. So that read that when you're doing it, just so you know what you're doing and what you're getting into. Then you're going to put in a password. Let's say I'm going to put in this password. And then you're going to put, I have read and agreed to the terms. Create. Now, this is very important for you guys to read. It's going to teach you how to secure your wallet. Obviously, I'm not going to have you watch the one minute, 35 second video right here on this channel, but this teaches you what a secrets recovery phrase is. And in short, guys, the secrets recovery phrase is the most important part of this whole thing. If you lose this, there is no way you can recover your wallet. It's, let's say you change your device or you lose your device and you want to reconnect and recover your account. There's no way you can recover it unless you have that secret recovery phrase, which is a 12 phrase uh, sentence which you should write down on pen and paper or somewhere which is very safe and which you will not lose and which no one can find because if someone finds it they can get your funds no matter whether they have your device or not now click on next after you watch this video and understand what that is then it's going to show you the recovery phrase when you click here it's going to re reveal their secret words obviously i'm not going to do that because if i reveal this you will have access to the wallet that i'm creating right now but i'm going to put remind me later but guys when this happens with you guys, please click on this. When no one's next to you, click on the reveal and write it down. Or as it says here, store this phrase in a password manager like 1Password or memorize this phrase. I wouldn't rely on my uh, memory too much, so I, I would just write it down. So remind me later, and then it shows you the details, whatever, escape. So congrats, you just created your MetaMask wallet. This shows you your MetaMask account and this is your account, it says account one and this is your address. If you click on it, you just copy it and you're almost good to go. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to fund your wallet. Now, obviously you have the balance, which is zero ETH, which is zero dollars. So you need to fund your wallet with Ethereum. The way you do that is you can send it from any wallet that you use from any exchange, such as Coinbase or KuCoin or Binance, Binance US, whatever you use. Wherever you have Ethereum, and let's say you do not have Ethereum, all you have to do is buy Ethereum on Coinbase, KuCoin, Binance, whatever as we said and you're gonna click on this which is account which is account one it says copy to clipboard what you're gonna do is click on it so you copy it and then all you have to do is when you go to your other wallet i'm gonna do it from my metamask so when i click withdraw right here i'm gonna click send in my case i'm gonna just paste the address right there and put the amount that i want in this case i'm gonna take let's say 0.0 five which is about 150 dollars i'm gonna send it to myself from your situation if you're using coinbase or whatever it's very similar all you do is click send or withdraw and then all of a sudden it should appear in your wallet right here i'm just going to refresh this very quickly as soon as my transaction goes through and there we go we have now 0.05 eth which is 150 dollars in my 
MetaMask wallet. Now, what you have to do is go to OpenSea.io, which is this platform right here, which is where you can buy all the NFTs that are available. For example, if you want to buy a CryptoPunk, which is about at least 60 or 70 ETH, I believe. There it is. That's one of them sold for 73 ETH. You can buy it from here. Now, in this case, I'm going to click on this icon, which is your profile, and then you're going to click MetaMask so you unlock the wallet or you just have access to your profile. Now, once this happens, you're going to click Connect. Right now it's connected and this is your address or this is your OpenSea profile. Obviously, we have nothing collected because we haven't bought anything yet. So for that reason, this is completely empty and it shows that this is your address and what you can do is click on settings. You can name it whatever you want. You sign, then you can change your username. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And then you can do all these details later on. However, what matters is right now how to buy your NFT. And I'm going to show you how you can buy one very quickly. So let's say you want to buy something from Weird Owls. Obviously, the floor is now about zero, but let's say you want to buy this one, right? Now, if you click buy now, you're going to pay zero ETH. However, what you're going to do is you're going to pay a gas fee. Okay, you check this box, confirm checkout. Always make sure you look at what you're signing just for security purposes. And then what you see is it's going to show you the transaction. It says estimated gas fee is going to be $31 for this to go through. Gas sucks, I know, but you just click confirm and you wait for the transaction to go through. And while it's processing, you can actually check the transaction right here. You click on MetaMask. You open MetaMask by opening the extension right there. And then you scroll down. It says this is the actual transaction that's happening. You can click on it and you can view on Block Explorer and you can check out the smart contract right there. It's almost at 100%. Should take a few more seconds. Once this is done, you will own the weird owl that you just purchased. And there we go. Transaction is complete. You click on the uh, your icon right here and you see that you have collected one of these NFTs. And if you check the smart contract, it also shows success. And if you scroll down, it shows you that you paid $27 for gas. So congrats. You just got your first NFT. Now, if you want to list that NFT, you just click on it like this. And then you want to sell it. You click on sell. Let's say you want to sell it for 0.1 ETH. You click 0.1. Then you put the duration, whether it's seven days or you want to do it, let's say, for one day. I'm going to just keep it for one month, whatever. I'm going to put 0.1 ETH for sale. And then there's a service fee of 2.5%, which is the fee that OpenSea takes. And then there's a creator fee, which is a fee that the creator sets. Once they mint the collection, once they release the collection, they put a certain amount of percentage that they want to get paid every time a resale happens. So in this case, if I sell this, 2.5% goes to OpenSea and 10%, which is 0 0.01, goes to whoever created Weird Owl. So complete listing. Now... Here, we have to initialize the wallet. Unfortunately, this is just how it is. To get set up for selling on OpenSea for the first time, you must initialize your wallet, which requires a one-time gas fee. So this gas fee is what you should pay once. So you look at it, it's 68 bucks. It is what it is. You click confirm. Then you wait for it to go through as well. Everything on Ethereum is kind of slow. Well, the more you pay, the quicker it is. But in this case, if you want to pay the least amount of possible, then you're going to have to wait, unfortunately. So we just wait for it to go through. Now the transaction went through. All I have to do is sign this and then it's confirming the one ETH listing and then voila, your item is listed for sale and you can manage, you can put on notifications. So whenever it sells, you can get an email or so. So then you view item, this is you. This is what you have listed for 0.1 ETH. So this is how you sell things for profit. Basically you buy it and then you sell it hoping you can sell it at a higher price. And keep in mind guys, this is very risky because you can buy an NFT and then it can never appreciate. It can go down in price and at the same time, Ethereum can go down in value as well. So you can lose a lot of money. So this is very dangerous. So please be careful when you're investing and only invest what you're willing to lose. Now, last but not least, let me teach you how you can create your own NFT. So the way you can create your NFT is you can click on create tab right there. Obviously, you click on create and then what you can do is you can upload any type of file. Basically, you can put a JPEG, PNG, GIF, MP4. So it could be a photo, a video, literally anything you want. So let's say you want to make this as an NFT and you want to sell it, right? What you do is you click on it and drag it just like that. And you have it right there. Item name, let's call it caution NFT for some reason. Okay, then you can put an external link or you can put a description. Let's call this demo for YouTube channel whatever, right? Anything random. And then you can put the collection, you can put the properties, you can add properties manually, put stats, levels, all that good stuff. And then all you do is click create. You just created it and that's it basically. If I want to list it, I put sell. I put, I want to list it for 0.1 ETH and then complete listing and sign. 
And right now it's for sale. So if you guys want to buy it, I'm going to list this on in the video description. Please don't buy it, but I'm just going to put it so you guys can check it out and just to make sure that it's possible to create an NFT that easily. So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be careful when it comes to NFTs. This can be super, super risky, but at the same time, it can be super rewarding. So make sure you only invest money you're willing to lose. I know I say this a lot of times, but I really mean it because once you invest money you are not willing to lose, then you're really just it's like going to the casino and putting your paycheck onto roulette or something. So please don't do that, guys. It's really not worth it. You're less likely to hit a moonshot and buy the next board ape than not. So just be careful. Only play with what you're willing to lose. So that's it, guys. I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you find value in it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure you join the Discord in the description. I'm dropping some alpha over there, and I have big plans coming for that. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.